Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today we're going to deal with the topic of temptation as we address it in St. James's letter. So this is James chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. He says, Blessed is the one who perseveres in temptation, but when they have proved, they will receive the crown of life that God promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when they are lured and enticed by their own desires. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin. And when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. So, a few days ago we talked about persevering in time of trial. And now we're talking about in regards to temptation. So St. James so beautifully reminds us that God doesn't tempt us. Temptation is a negative thing. God is never negative. He's never evil. He doesn't want anything to do with sin. Now, while God allows at times the devil to tempt us, it's not to watch us struggle. Rather, it's an opportunity of grace to rise above the temptation to establish this great connection between God and us. One of the greatest examples of this is Job in the Old Testament. The devil suggests that Job loves God only because his life was going well. And God says, oh no, Job's relationship with me is much deeper than that. Okay, well then let me try him and then let's see where his faith is. And so God allows Job to be tried for Job's greater good and for the glory of God. Sometimes this also applies to us. The closer we get to God, the more temptation comes. And so we might think that we are being tempted by God. But as the passage says, God himself tempts no one. So it's not that, but rather... The devil, not because he cares about our soul or our well-being at all, because he doesn't, but he certainly knows that God wants your soul, that God delights in you. So the devil wants to stop at nothing and making our lives very difficult. The closer we get to God, the more the trials come, the more the temptations come sometimes. So as God allows temptations to come, so we can rely on him to get us out of those situations. The question is, am I turning to him? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God is the only one who can deliver us from all that is evil. He's the one who gives us peace in our days. And we hear that at Mass, right? Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days, that we may be always free from sin and safe from all trial. So how do we address this? How do we attack this? Well, number one, we are lured and tempted by our own desires. So we have to take ownership and accountability to say, actually, no. I'm lustful in my thoughts and actions because of what I'm looking at. I need to put a security code on my phone to make sure that I won't visit those websites. Or even better, to give that code to a family member or friend so we can keep each other accountable to make sure that we don't go down that slippery slope. We need to recognize that it's my anger that I need to work on, that I can't just lash out when things don't go my way. It's not the devil that made me get upset. It's myself that made me get upset. How can I work on this area of my life? The sense of entitlement 
and then treating others poorly because they're not giving me what I expect. How can I take ownership of those feelings too and realize that it's not always about me? These are just some examples of desires that come within us that are not God-like. And so God wishes us to turn to him for the strength to overcome temptation. But as I've said before, God helps those who help themselves too. So we need to first receive God's grace and then put it into action to do our part to also overcome temptation in our lives. We should never be lured or enticed by human desires. Rather, we're called as sons and daughters of God to be disciplined, to be faithful, to recognize that God will equip us to overcome. And when we see that temptation is getting on the rise or is already on the rise, may we find solace in knowing that we must be growing in our relationship with God almost taunting the devil to bring it on because nothing should separate us from the love of God. And while we find ourselves sometimes on the roller coaster ride of faithfulness, where we're feeling a close relationship with God as opposed to other times where we may not be feeling that, feeling that he's distant, although he never is, of course, each of us, go through stages of life that really help us to analyze what's going on in our life 